Absolutely. And I think that the Chinese would be very pleased with this document because moments before the document was published, uh, the, the foreign minister, Wang Yi, had uh, made some comments at an unrelated event here in Beijing, uh, saying that, of course, they welcome the summit, but also they believe that it needs to be resolved through dialogue. They hope to see denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Uh, they hope to see a lasting and stable uh, peace mechanism. And they also hope to see uh, security guarantees for North Korea. Well, all four of those points are in this document. So China got everything that they hoped to see. Uh, the other uh, interesting point about this document is that just with the language of it, it appears to be more of a letter of intent with the language of uh, North Korea would work towards uh, a denuclearization. So that suggests that the time frame is going to be much longer than what the Trump administration had originally demanded. Originally, uh, the Trump administration had said that there would be up front dismantling of the nuclear program. This would be much more rapid um, than um, anybody would, would uh, care to see. Uh, however, um, that doesn't seem to be the case. And that would be uh, much more in line with what the Chinese would want to see. The Chinese have hoped for a more phased approach, uh, just like the North Koreans. Uh, part of that is because they, they don't like to see a disruptive approach. They would want to uh, make sure that there's a lot of stability and predictability. Uh, just generally because the uh, the government here likes that sort of thing, but also because that allows Beijing to continue to play a dominant hand in the procedures after the summit, as they have been doing for quite some time. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.